that they need to make up some points to keep themselves in the conversation of that top 10, top 5 territory. Well played here. I think it's going to be back as well. The stage is open up here as they charge Oshi's last remaining hope. Unfortunately for Alex and Worthy, they'll have to wait for our final match to make another debut, see whether or not they can pack, catapult themselves a little bit further up the leaderboards, but look at this, Rift Island. We've been seeing a decent amount of action to pick up as the game here at Horizontal. getting lit up, trying to find some materials off the roof of this new building here on Rift Island. Working for him, he's got a rub on the bomb, toss him a couple of heals, but at the same time, Misha, Teeny, they managed to fly right in to join the heart of the action here. X-Force and Roma might not get this as freely as they initially believe. I love this because TD and Misha, these last couple games have just been menaces. Pushing everyone, playing for Rift Island. They're trying to come back. They're trying to make this money right now. And they're not willing to give it up without a fight. That's what it's all about. This is exactly what players fear the most though. Rift Island being highly contested like this. When teams are desperate to jump up the standings, Misha and TD are doing it here and now. They gotta get in. They gotta get closer. They'll end up giving it away. Seems as though Misha and Teeny may be hoping that they can try and catch Axe Force and Rohan on the road pitching out. Especially if some other duos try to get involved here. But Axe Force and Rohan, these guys aren't the only ones going up top. But a massive benefit here because Dixie it's Trulex, it's Chicho running Pixie down and they find the knock. Trulex going for the finish. I'm certain that he eliminates Pixie in the process there. And yeah, it's just cheating, trying to hold it down by his lonesome, but he's locked outside the zone. He's got to find a way to rotate in, but the edge is being so well guarded right now. Really has to do with a little bit of greed. They were doing pretty much just fine, but trying to go in there to see what they can find out and they just get met with a team not what you expect at all he now thinks the same thing shows himself for a second and there were players waiting fuga and threats don't drop a beat there the damage was catastrophic g and now has to see if he can pick up his teammates rainbow card and pick him up but they're gonna have teams like fuga and threats just looking in trying to say see if they can get points to them. I mean, even if Chico oh. does get like a single dad at this point, the Falcon is to really for himself and Pixie. So you have to imagine that Booga and Threats haven't really strayed too far from their initial position. They recognize the fact that Cheetah is a solo. They're still hanging out midway between Cheetah, Pixie, and where they need to be as far as the is concerned. They might just be able to shoot down Pixie before he even gets a chance to land. Pixie doing his best to try and juke inside the air, and while it does seem as though Boogan threats have started to move off now, recognizing that they need to keep pushing forward, Gene and Pixie, they've got a lot of ground to cover. It does seem like Herbal Paradise right now as Misha's turning online. Queasy possibly has fallen as well. Big trees happening everywhere. It's gonna be Queasy and Mano that have actually met their fate here in game number five. They'll have to wait it out as well. The battle bus part in match number six. And who better to be the one to possibly shut him down and Mastrophe and Kylie uh, applying so much pressure. Lucy and Meadow, they were in seventh place here. And now they've got to sit and wait to see where this leaves them on the leaderboard by the time it gets to the completion of game number five. And that's gonna be all it takes. Seti and Cammy sure to have seen that one light up the elimination feed and possibly got a little pep in their step for it. Yeah, the conversation now for Cammy and Seti is surely, can they start to close this gap and rocket their way on up to first place? They do have a little bit more work to do. Pink and Vico are still up. Cheating obviously is brought back into the game with Pixie here. This competition still standing strong. Mira and Cooper begin to touch base with them. This this hasn't changed for them. Mira and Cooper are struggling in the big game here. But Pixie and Gian are as well. Except what might say Pixie and Gian? Watch worse situation as they were finished off before. Then you get to safety. Due to the hand 
sense of threats and movement once again, finding them there on the storm's edge, waiting for them. You can just tell that the threats were not going to allow us to see them now.